Sup peeps and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something slightly different as you can tell by the title of the video. We're going to be doing a reddit. It's going to be r slash one piece circle. I don't know if I can say the last word but yeah. The first meme is a nice little picture with Pain aka a Negato and Doflamingo where underneath Pain it says Wow, my village got destroyed by another, so now I need to destroy that village to end the cycle of hatred, even though I'm perpetuating the cycle even further through my own hatred and vengeance. Yeah, it sounds like pain to me. And then, Dofy Boy is, I've experienced being at the top of this world and being at the bottom of this world. From these experiences, I now understand that the entirety of this civilization must be destroyed completely. This is true justice. Yeah, it sounds like Doofy Boy as well. Kind of similar kind of justifications that they've been wrong, so therefore that they need to do, like, take that frustration out on others. But I'm just going to say, as much as I loved Pain, I loved the design, I loved the concept of the Six Paths of Pain, I did not like the way that Naruto defeated Gato because the way he used Talk No Jutsu, I just didn't like. At least Doofy went out with, like, an actual proper fight. And he was badass to boot as well. He gets the love. He's still a bit of a dingus, but he gets more love for me than Pain slash Negato does. How Shonen protagonists deal with villains. And this is exactly what I was just saying. Ah, oh, you got Naruto here being, Stop killing. I want to talk to you so I can understand you. Believe it. And then you got Luffy here. I understand you just fine. And that is why I must crush your dreams so you can live with the weight of your failure. Yes, Luffy. But no, that's exactly what I was just saying about how Naruto took down Nagato compared to how Luffy takes down, you know, the Flamingo, right? That, that just, I don't even need to say anything more. Like that exactly outlines the difference between the two and how much better of a shonen protagonist Luffy is over Naruto. Oh dear, oh dear. We're just going to gloss over that one. If you see it, you see it. Clearly that's not what's going on, but um, yeah, let, let's just move on from that one. Sigma Male Oda writes manga for 25 years. Millionaire grind set. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Oda, my boy. The Virgin Naruto has to use Virgin Chakra and Kunai to beat enemies. Show ended four years ago. Has terrible spin-off. Mm -hmm. Horribly obnoxious character. Mm -hmm. Begs Raikage on his knees not to kill Sasuke like a biatch. Attracts weird stalker girl. But world building. Needs a thousand clones to beat one Chad enemy. Has a crush on biatch and gets rejected. Screaming, believe it! Won't make it happen, virgin. Please, STFU. Has a small... PP confirmed by Sai. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> the Chad One Piece show is still going. It's friends with Gad Usopp. Doesn't need weapons to fight. Uses his fists. Main character is actually funny and likeable. Main character is respected by emperors and feared by marines. Phenomenal world building. Amazing animation in Wano. The hottest Stacy in the world at any time. Yeah, but Luffy's not really interested in that though. Uses Chad Hacky to make non-Chad enemies faint, fears no one, can beat 1,000 virgin enemies effortlessly, has the ability to make his PP as long and hard as he wants. <laughs> Going back to um, Amazon Lily, yep. Doesn't beg for enemies not to kill his friends, just fights them. Any's Lobby, Whole Cake Island, Park even going back as far as Arlong Park with Nami. It stems all the way back before they even enter the Grand Line. Luffy has been the OG best main character of any series. I mean, Any's Lobby, like, they had a ship falling apart. The Going Merry was falling to pieces on them. And Luffy was just like, you know what? It's a monsoon. The ship's falling to pieces, but I'm going to go out there. I'm going to sail there. I mean, in the end, they used the sea train. However, Luffy didn't care. Luffy just wanted to get Nico Robin back. Like, Luffy just wanted to get his Nakama back. So he was willing to go out there on that sea on a suicide mission. I mean, it was a suicide mission anyways going against the CP9. They were far stronger than the Straw Hats at the time. And yet he still went off and still attempted to rescue Robin and succeeded. What did Naruto do when Sasuke disappeared off and he was constantly saying, 
I'm going to bring Sasuke back. I'm going to bring Sasuke back. I'm going to bring Sasuke back. He goes traveling for like three years with Jiraiya. He doesn't make any attempt to bring Sasuke back. Comes back to the village after the training arc. And still doesn't really make any attempt for like another like 300 chapters. Not really. And then when he does bump into Sasuke, he doesn't even really fight for him. I've never understood that. It's one of the things that always put me off about Naruto. Elder is such a genius storyteller. Every single mystery has an answer. Question. This is from the SBS. I noticed that Robin's breasts are grown very large. And later on, I noticed that Nami's boobas are large too. Why are their boobas so large? Is that what you like, Mr. Oda? This question is from two ten-year-olds. <laughs> Answer. I'll say it a million times. I'm drawing the dreams of boys everywhere. People of the world grow big boobas. <laughs> Ah, oh, Oda, you mad man, you mad lad. Ah, oh, I love you, Oda. Ah, oh, no, I'm actually starting to tear up a little bit at that. Ah, oh, ah, oh. ah, oh, no, that was too good. Kaido officially um, verified, apparently. How did they verify Kaido? Before I read everything, I just noticed Twitter for Emperor OS. Oh my god, that's next level memeage. Following the unsavory comments made by our former employee at Who's Who to Fishmen, we have decided to terminate his position as a Topi Ropo with us. The Beast Pirates is no place for racism, and we will make sure it stays that way. Uh, I can't disagree with that, especially after what Who's Who said to Jinbei, but you know, like that was unacceptable. <laughs> They went above and beyond with that, with that meme there. Like the Twitter for Emperor OS. That was the icing on the cake. Oh, Luffy, I, I, um, <laughs> I just, periods don't stop nothing but a sentence, baby girl. <laughs> just stick a towel down, if you know, you know. Moving on from that one real quick. Um, d uh, uh, um, um, hmm, uh, hmm, I don't know how to, hmm, that is really, really clever, but really, really disturbing at the same time. I'm probably going to have to censor the booty cheeks that are meant to be Boa Hancock's boobers. But that is really clever, but really disturbing. And it left me speechless for a second. Huh? Hmm. Moving on. We spent too much time on that. Yeah. No, Jinbei. Like, yeah. I'm just, uh, you took the words right out of my mouth from that last part, from the last meme. I'm not sure what to say to that. Yeah, too right. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say to that either, Jinbei. Me and you, same wavelength. Oh. Nah. Nah. Pepperdile. Oh, nah. That, that's brilliant. Who is it that made this? Dol P1154. And... That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Watch me trigger him. Jimbei is the all blue. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. I have my theories about the all blue, but that's for another video. How we see Luffy. How Zoro sees Luffy. One eye covered. How Sanji sees Luffy. One eye covered, but with hair. How Usopp sees Luffy. Pinocchio. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> like, Usopp can't even see, like, Luffy's uh, mouth. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the marinara know me. Yeah. Okay, okay. The marinara know me is a tomato. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're going to end it with uh, Tom and Jerry, Thomas Decat as himself. It seems that Tom from Tom and Jerry has inherited the will of D. 
And with that, I shall bring it to an end. Uh, I think I've been browsing the One Piece subreddit for, well, the One Piece circle mm, for long enough now. If you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed this new style that I'm doing with some actual edits in there, doing some Reddit content, etc, etc, smash that thumbs up. If you dislike it, smash that thumbs down, but drop a comment down below and tell me why you disliked it. If you're new here and you enjoyed my content, please consider subscribing. I will love you eternally. With that being said, namaste and peace out, peeps.